I am Edward K. Dunk, President of the Pan American Health and Education Foundation. Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Dr. Peter J. Hotez, a leading figure in the field of public health and neglected tropical diseases. Dr. Hotez is the 2011 Abraham Horowitz Award winner for excellence in leadership in inter-American public health in recognition for his outstanding contribution to health in the Americas in the fields of global health, vaccinology, and neglected tropical disease control. Since 1975, the Abraham Horowitz Award for Excellence in Leadership in Inter-American Public Health recognizes leadership that changed lives and improved health of the people of the Americas. The award was created to honor the lifetime accomplishments of Dr. Abraham Horowitz, former PAHO director and later PAHEF president. The award is one of six in the PAHO PAHEF Awards for Excellence in Inter-American Public Health Program, which was established in 1975. Why has your path led you to focus on neglected tropical diseases rather than some of the better known diseases such as HIV, AIDS, tuberculosis? Well, thank you for that question. You know, when we talk about big global health problems, there's so much attention to conditions such as HIV AIDS and of course that's an incredibly important uh, disease uh, throughout the low and middle income countries of the world. But we often forget that the most common conditions affecting the world's poorest people, the group we sometimes refer to as the bottom billion, the 1.4 billion people in the world who live below the World Bank poverty figure, the most common conditions of those people are the neglected tropical diseases. These are conditions such as hookworm infection and schistosomiasis and Chagas disease and leishmaniasis and elephantiasis. I like to say they're the most important diseases you've never heard of. They're the most common conditions of the bottom billion, including the poorest people in Latin America, the hundred million people who live on less than two dollars a day in the Western Hemisphere. As you know, uh, there's much focus on Africa in terms of public health which has translated to the shifting of donor funds from other regions of the world to Africa. In this environment, what has made you maintain your dedication to the Americas? One of the most uh, wrenching and striking things about when I travel is particularly when I travel to Central America. So uh, I can go on an airplane from where I am in Houston and get to Guatemala or Nicaragua or Honduras or Panama much faster than I could most other parts of the United States of America. And what do you see when you travel there? You not only go to a different place, you go back in time 500 years. Because what do you see? You still see malnutrition and Chagas disease, intestinal worm infections, uh, incredible wrenching poverty. And we know that based on human development indices, it bears that out. So if you look at the human development index for Guatemala or Nicaragua or Honduras, it's comparable to many sub-Saharan African uh, countries. So I'm very concerned that while uh, we know the, the great importance of health problems in sub-Saharan Africa, there is this hidden, bur hidden burden of poverty and disease uh, right here in, in the Western Hemisphere. And what makes it especially tragic is how close it is to great wealth, meaning the United States of America. So I think in the U.S. we have a special obligation to helping our neighbors, and they really are our neighbors, in the southern part of Mexico uh, and in Central America, as well as in the poorest parts of South America and the Caribbean. What is your perspective with regards to the Millennium Development Goals? and neglected tropical diseases such as malaria, dengue, schistosomiasis, leishmaniasis, and others. You know, if you look at the Millennium Development Goals, which were designed to address the plight of the bottom billion, the world's poorest people, there's eight of them. And, and one of them is specifically comments on infectious diseases. And if you read that MDG number six, it's, it's written to combat HIV, AIDS, malaria, and other diseases. And I think the problem is they called it the other diseases because, you know, if you look at what's happened with HIV AIDS, there's been this massive advocacy push over the last decade through the One Campaign or, or PEPFAR, the President's Emergency Plan for AIDS Relief, which has pumped billions of dollars in putting people on antiretroviral drugs. Or you have now the Global Fund to fight AIDS, then they added TB and malaria. The problem is 
for the other diseases. They're called the other diseases, and we don't have a Bono or an Angelina Jolie standing up and say, now we're going to take on the other diseases. And so this is why we, our, our work focusing on neglected tropical diseases is, is so important, because it gives a voice to other diseases, and it gives a voice really to forgotten people uh, with these forgotten diseases. Again, these conditions, the other diseases, are the most common infections of the world's poorest people, and we are now developing strategies for their control and even elimination, particularly in the Americas, and I think that might be possible over the next decade. Thank you, uh, Dr. Hotis, for your important contribution to the field of public health, and specifically neglected tropical diseases. And of course, congratulations on winning the Abraham Horowitz Award for Excellence in Leadership in Inter-American Health. Well, thank you for this uh, great opportunity, and again, to give a voice to uh, the 100 million poorest people in Latin America with those neglected tropical diseases. I'm deeply appreciative.